with the huge success of Inside Out 2. Okay, let's clear it all out. A third film is just a matter of time. <laughs> but what would the story of this new movie be? What new emotions would emerge in the story? After figuring out how to keep anxiety under control with a relaxing chair and a cup of tea, everyone thought things would calm down. The detail is that Riley is just entering puberty, and it's at this stage of life that many things happen simultaneously. According to statements from the producers and images from Pixar's own art book, the next group of emotions to be introduced will include four new ones once again. Passion, guilt, depression, and hope. I ordered extra in case things get slow in class. Might come in handy. New life. As we saw at the end of Inside Out 2, Riley received great news on her cell phone, which was certainly her acceptance into the Fire Falcons hockey team, meaning she would be going to that new school. And as we know, between each movie, Pixar always takes a small time jump, so we imagine that in the next film, our protagonist will go from being 13 to now being 15. This is the moment in life when everyone undergoes a new transformation. Just as Riley entered puberty and is still in it, by turning 15, she will enter the phase of maturity. After all, it's from this age that you start planning which college you want to attend and what career path you really want to follow. Moreover, it's also at this age that your heart starts beating faster when your crush walks by, and Riley will be experiencing all of this at her new school. This will be the moment when the brain will pull from its area of emotional stability a new group of characters to go to the control center of our protagonist's mind. This area of emotional stability is where the emotions that are not yet necessary for the girl's life are waiting to be called, much like what happened with anxiety, envy, embarrassment, ennui, and nostalgia. But this won't happen out of nowhere. On the contrary, there will be a great reason for Riley to once again receive a group of emotions inside her little head. The reason will be that Riley will meet her first boyfriend. Here we go again. Passion. As we know very well, Riley had her first crush when she was just a kid, Jordan. But their relationship didn't go very far. After all, they were really young. However, three years later, Riley is now 15 years old and is the star player on the hockey team alongside her new best friend, Val. At her new school, Riley meets many new people, one of whom is a classmate of Val's who is a bit ahead in his studies. Let's call this new future character Joe. Joe is Val's cousin, so during one of the hockey games, he also plays on the boys' hockey team at the school, he watches Riley score the winning goal. When he congratulates the team at the end of the game, the captain of the Firehawks introduces Joe to Riley, and there's this frozen moment of eye contact between the two of them. Of course, after that, the team plans to go out for pizza, and there, the two get to know each other better. They spend most of the evening talking and discovering that they both loved Rainbow Unicorn since they were kids, and that they both enjoy playing with Land Slash Blade, even though his attack is so weak. The night ends, and Riley goes home and can't stop thinking about Joe. She falls asleep and ends up dreaming about him in a very romantic way, with the two of them holding hands and sharing Riley's first kiss. Of course, all of this was created in Riley's Dream Production Center, which will be shown in more detail in the Inside Out series that has already been confirmed on Disney+. When Riley's emotions wake up inside her mind, they notice someone is already messing with the controls of Riley's mind. They're all surprised to see a new emotion at work since the early morning, actually, since the night before, in Riley's mind. She is none other than passion. Without anyone noticing, the new emotion spent the whole night working at the control panel, bombarding Riley's mind with thoughts of what her love life with Joe would be like if they started dating. When the new emotions meet passion, they ask her if she came alone, and she lies, saying that the brain sent her ahead when, in fact, she had run away from the emotion center. But the truth is, the brain did plan to send Passion along with guilt, depression, and hope, who arrive as soon as day breaks while the emotions are getting to know Passion. And if you believe Passion should also be one of the emotions appearing in the next movie, comment below, hashtag Passion. A new emotion! Oh. Guilt. Of course, we don't even need to mention that joy and hope hit it off right away, because both of them are extremely positive, just as guilt and sadness realize they also have some things in common. When Riley wakes up, she's still thinking about Joe. Since they had exchanged numbers the night before, she picks up her phone, grappling with a huge dilemma. Should she text the guy or not? It's the beginning of the weekend, and they probably won't see each other until the start of the next week. However, after five minutes, she sees that he's read the message but hasn't responded. At this moment, guilt steps in and makes Riley start to feel like she did something totally wrong and that she shouldn't have sent him a message. Riley begins to feel bad and guilty and thinks about deleting the message, but when she's about to do so, she sees that Joe is typing a reply. He apologizes, explaining that his phone had died just as he was about to respond. Then, the two of them start exchanging messages and spend hours chatting, with Passion and Guilt taking turns at the control panel. By the end of the day, Passion suggests that Riley invite Joe to meet on Sunday to play a game of hockey together at the gym. There, they have a lot of fun, and at one point, they accidentally bump into each other. Riley falls on top of Joe, and they end up looking at each other, leading to their first kiss. From that day on, they start hanging out together regularly. Joe takes Riley home after school, meets her parents, and so on. During these times, Passion becomes the most dominant emotion 
ocean in Riley's mind, and a new island forms, the dating island. The thing is, this worries all the other emotions as they start to realize that everything else in our protagonist's life begins to take a backseat, her friends, her studies, and even hockey, which she has loved since she was a little girl. And all these islands begin to shrink, including the family island. I'm curious. Depression. Riley and Joe's relationship is going really well, but here's the thing. Riley has no idea that Joe's family might be moving to another state, just like her family did in the first movie. But Joe doesn't know how to tell Riley this because it would mean the end of their relationship. So, instead of telling her the truth, he decides to just break up with her. After he tells her that they're not going to stay together, guilt takes over the control panel along with sadness, making Riley think about what she did wrong for the relationship to end. After a long crying session with sadness and guilt, the control panel is left empty, and Depression, who hasn't touched the control panel and has always been sitting in one corner of the control room isolated, starts to feel like he's being pulled towards the panel against his will. While all the emotions are discussing what to do to cheer Riley up, Depression gets drawn like a magnet to the control controls and buttons, entering a kind of automatic mode even he didn't want. The panel goes completely dark, and Riley no longer feels like doing anything, isolating herself in her room, completely depressed. Before we get to the end of this new Inside Out 3 storyline, click the subscribe button below. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hope. In the midst of the new chaos forming in Riley's mind, Hope has an idea. Send messages to all her friends asking for advice. They all agree to go to the Anderson family's house to try to see their friend who is feeling really down. They take her out to play some hockey, which cheers her up a bit, but it still doesn't have the desired effect, as she remains very sad. At this moment, Hope has another idea, remembering that there is a compartment in Riley's mind where a vault exists, holding Depression's twin brother. It is one of Riley's most important emotions, self-love. Some of the emotions then set out to locate this place and somehow free him and bring him to the command center as he would be the only one who could make his brother release the control panel needing to merge to form something completely new. After several dangerous moments and new discoveries in Riley's mind, the group of emotions manages to return and bring self-love to the command center. He then hugs his brother, who is in a trance, and the two form a new emotion together, self-esteem. At this moment, Riley understands that she needs to love herself before anything else, something she hadn't been doing since she started dating, as she had been dedicating herself completely to Joe. At the same time, Joe looks for Riley and explains why he had broken up with her, saying that his family is no longer moving and asking if she would like to get back together. Self-esteem then takes control and makes Riley tell her ex-boyfriend that, despite liking him a lot, it's better if they remain just friends for now. You gotta fix this! Get up there! Sadness. It's up to you. Me? Sadness. Sadness? Leaving it open for what might happen in Riley's future, we see that she's now going to focus on the next stage of her life, choosing which college to attend. We'll definitely see more chapters of this story in the future. We've left two videos on the screen for you to choose from to keep having fun with us, okay? See you in the next video. Thanks.